Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Brody, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. Today, we're being joined by Nadia Clay, author of Package Your Brand, Stay in Front of Mind for Your Clients and Customers. Nadia, welcome to the show. Hello, thank you for having me. So excited to be here. Are you ready to get started? I am so ready. All right, let's do it. Question number one. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writing their book? I would tell them to go for it. Don't be fearful. Just dive in. Uh, I think all too, many, all too often we get caught up in what this is going to look like and the fear of being vulnerable. And to that, I say, you never know until you just do it. Just do it. I am not an author by trade. I am not a writer by any means. Um, Prior to, I didn't even like writing. It was something that was a fear of mine. It was something I was actually intimidated by in college. And, And when I got with my drama teacher in one of my courses my sophomore year, uh, I had to do a, a summary, a, a page for the course, and I let, and it was really straightforward, really simple, wasn't long, one page only, and I fell in love. And from there, I really started to crave it and, and want to do more of it. So for new authors, just jump in. It, it's not going to be perfect, but put yourself out there. That's the best thing you can do. Put yourself out there. Well, I remember talking with you a few minutes ago prior to the show. I was talking about two main things. And one is done is better than perfect. And two, don't be afraid to take the plunge. Absolutely. Don't keep that masterpiece to yourself. Don't keep it to yourself. Somebody can benefit from it. I'm telling you. Well, what do you feel? Yeah. Is, what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? For me, I think the hardest part was is choosing the right publisher. Um, somebody who finding someone who embraces who you are and your creative goals. Um, that was the most challenging part, very challenging for me. Um, because although you don't see the market doesn't seem very saturated with, with publishers, the ones that you see, it's, it's hard to find that right niche. It's hard to find someone who is an advocate for you. Um, I was very blessed in this book is the person that, or the you impact who my publisher was, this was their baby. So they were starting out. So I was very blessed in that the, the people that the group that owns the publishing company know, knew my story. You know, we, we've had lunch, we knew each other. So they understood my creative purpose and goals. So it was, it was a really easy relationship and in talking to some of my other colleague or author friends, they didn't have such a luxury. So I think that would be the biggest investment, I would say, is finding and aligning yourself with the right publisher. And what was the name of the publisher again? You Impact. And it's great that they were brand new, too, so they were ready to get make a great first impression to make sure you're taken care of. Absolutely, they were. And they were eager, and we both were. And like I said, getting to know that author versus mm-hmm. just give me. You know, we had coffee. We had we had talks. We, I mean, we got to know each other first, you know. And, and I think that made a world of difference because it allowed me to be vulnerable in a lot of ways and push myself in writing um, in, in areas I didn't think I could do, in fact. You know, I had a first draft, and, and I took it back, and I said, you know what? I can, I can go further with it. And so, you know, when I go into other works that I'm working on, I go back to those moments of being vulnerable and and pushing myself. And so I think it's incredibly important. I think that would be the hardest thing. Well, and I think that's one of the most important things is to get to know your client. And it's a two-way conversation. When I have strategy sessions, what a lot of my clients don't realize is I'm actually 
their audition for me versus me necessarily audition for them because I wanted to make sure that it's the best fit on both sides, that they're a good fit for me, but more importantly, I'm a good fit for them. And it's taken that holistic approach where you get to know them, you get to know about their book and what they want to get out of it. And then you can talk about how you can help because I think it's one of the biggest things that's missing in, not only in business, but especially in publishing right now. Absolutely. It is. Oh my gosh. Prior to meeting that group, it, it, it really is. It, the business is a little different. You know, like I said, you just submit a document and no one really, they're, they're checking for edits and you know, how, they benefit solely and so not really how the the product is going the end product is going to look how people will respond as much i I just don't see that so i think that even if from a financial standpoint uh, i would think that that would be your biggest investment get with a good publisher get with a good publisher Exactly. A publisher or hybrid, traditional or coach, just making sure that you have someone there that's going to support you throughout the entire journey. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Well, let's talk about marketing. So please share a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launch that worked well. So I would say be visible. Um, a marketing strategy for me, uh, I, I was I'm an introvert <laughs> by nature. You see, didn't be when I was younger, but as I got older, I don't know why I'm more introverted and I'm just, you know, a little shaky. But I started with the bookstores. And so here in the Metroplex, there's half price bookstores. And so I know in other places you have uh, varying different types of discount places or bookstores. But I choose half, I chose half price bookstores because there was no fee involved. There's, they market for you essentially. So you, you present your book, you, you talk with um, their director of communications and you set up um, and you do your, your book um, signings. And so that worked for me and I did it strategically. So my book was released around the holidays. And so it was a perfect time to do a lot of book signings. And so I utilized that free marketing with half price bookstores. So they send it out on their website. They had it in their calendars and they streamed it for me. And I would go to the different half price bookstores and during the holidays when I know those um, bookstores would be busy and people would even tax free weekend is a good time as well. Um, and I knew people would be in the bookstores and I wouldn't just talk to them and do signing just on my book, but just on me, you know, and people would ask, who are you and get to know me. Um, it just seems to be a, a great opportunity to, to market not only my book, but myself, you know? So you were mainly using the half-price books. Were you using any other companies as well, or were they the main the ones? Start, I at half-price books at the start, um, and of course, working with my publisher, we were on Amazon and, you know, all of those mainstream. But for me, personally, going out and marketing it on foot and, and being a presence and really talking to it, I think that that made a, a difference, especially here locally. But absolutely. Cool. And it was mainly half price books. Is that correct? Were there any other bookstores that you did sign ins at? Um, I did sign ins at, yeah, it was half price books for the bookstores. I did a couple of signings at festivals. Uh, we had a couple of festivals in Irving that we did um, around the holidays. So, uh, but half price books was the only store. store. Cool. And, you know, in the Dallas Fort Worth area, I mean, I, I reside here as well. There's a, so many locations, especially for half price books. They've got them all over the place. Everywhere. They're everywhere. And especially for, like I said, the first time, and this was my first book, I didn't know how it would be received. Um, and I know our, my publisher was like, get out there, you know, we'll do the big stuff. But you, you know, work and work it in the local areas. And she gave me the idea. And I'm like, you know what, I'm going to run with it. And I, I think it made a world of difference. I had a, I met a lot of good people, sold some books, um, got people interested in taking ownership um, in their lives. I met a lot of entrepreneurs to this day um, that I, I still connect with and, and have lunch with and partner with um, in business. So it, it is a good way to get yourself out out there and network and, and, and just really introduce not, like I said, not just your book, but yourself. 
So for listeners that want to know about the strategy, how do you suggest that they do that? How do they reach out to a place like Half Price Books and how do they get a hold of the director of communication? What's the best strategy that they can use to have these uh, similar opportunities? So for me, it was quite easy. All I, I called the uh, store directly. So I called Half Price Books directly and said, who do I need to speak to? I have a book and I want to do a book signing. Who do I need to speak to? And so immediately they, I mean, this, this happens for them. So they plugged me into the communication director and they gave me his information directly. Now it may be different for different and bigger, like, you know, Barnes and Nobles, I'm sure that they have a whole system and, and they may need a contract and all of that. But that's why I say go to those local um, bookstores or those discounted bookstores, because they're looking for opportunities, you know, um, even, um, and it, it depends too. I know Central Market is looking for opportunities to host different events. But look at places, and it may not be your typical place because a lot of those places, like Barnes and Nobles, a lot of people are go. They go to those places. A lot of people gravitate to those places, um, and so it's saturated. But just kind of thinking outside the box. But I just contacted them directly, and they gave me the communications director uh, information right off and I, I linked up with him and, and they marketed it for me um, and, and put me out there um, and set me up and it was it was great and it was at no cost to me um, and it was it was a really great opportunity and so I would suggest highly suggest thinking outside the box and being creative in those ways to get yourself out there and that director of communication, that's probably someone for the entire DFW area, correct? That's not store specific. Yes, sir, it is. Yep. It's for the entire DFW area. So he can, well, well at that time, he linked me to all of the different half price bookstores. So I wasn't just segmented to, and like you said, it's a pretty big company. Yeah. But, I mean, there's a lot of locations. So I, I was able to go to the different um, sites. So I, I made my way around the Metroplex doing that. And then did yep. you bring anything with you, like posters or any type of gifts or anything like that when you set up your table? What was your strategy with that? Absolutely. And so my um, my uh, section of the book, and we talk about entrepreneurship. And like I said, by trade, uh, my background is, is in education and business. But by trade, I am in the medical and dental field. And so uh, one of my businesses is surrounding dental. So I had a lot of dental uh, information and, and gifts and candy and things like that so you know it's always fun to have candy because people always gravitate towards it especially kids <laughs> and of course I had some promo items that I had created or got made for me so um, I was able to have a, a, a present um, it wasn't too daunting or too gaudy but it was enough to uh, you know have people interested and, and inquire so absolutely so I had little little things yeah. gifts and fun stuff what were, were some, what were some of the promo items that you mentioned? So some of the promo items, so I had a, a billboard, um, a kind of standalone, uh, um, standalone uh, billboard made with the, the book logo on it. Um, and then I had a cloth over the table with my business name on it. And I do that for when I go out to events, I have my business name on it, just in case people inquire about it. And then I had um, a shirt with my business information on it uh, relative to the book so uh, and I had little giveaways like um, toothbrushes with uh, my business name imprinted on them um, I had some book markers made up with uh, my book name on it so it was, it was a few things and like I said I had some candies out um, that was specific to dental um, and so it was xylitol based candies which was no sugar added so I tried to make it really book and business oriented, mm -hmm. so it was it was neat. I knew you'd have a great answer for that, so that's why I wanted to take a little deeper dive in because <laughs> I'm the same way with live events. We have easels out and we have dif different phone boards with the company logo and our Get Published logo and right. utilizing those for not only that but for signings as well. And that's one of the biggest things. It's not you don't just show up with a bunch of books. You've got to have something with it. You got to have a sign. You got to have some brand in it. Doesn't have to be very expensive, but it's always good to have those little that's items. It. And you mentioned the most important thing of all, candy. That is critical. Because that is what would draw more people than you could ever imagine. 
Absolutely. And and actually, when I got I got my foam uh, boards uh, made and, and then my cloth, my tablecloth, really nice. I got it from Display Dynamics, and they're also a local company. And so people, you can just go to DisplayDynamics.com, and they are amazing, and they're very reasonable. And they get the items to you in a timely manner because when you – for me, when I did uh, have rights initiate uh, initially, I, I booked it out about three weeks, and I was able to get all of my merchandise back within that time frame, which is really unique. So that's something to to think about too. Excellent. Well, let's talk about your favorite book. So, what is your favorite book, and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? Wow, my favorite book is Lean In. And it's Lean In, Women, Work, and the Will to Lead. Uh, and that's by Cheryl Sandberg. Incredible. Incredible. Um, <clears throat> this book was given to me by the CEO of the company I worked for um, several years ago. And he gave it to me and he said, after you read it, give me a call and tell me what you think. And I, you know, I kind of looked at him and I'm like, what do you mean? The best book ever. And again, Cheryl Sandberg, she's not a, a writer. <laughs> but this book is so impactful, especially for women. Women in business and women entrepreneurs. This was the book that told me I can be a mom at home and be nurturing at home and then come to work or in my own business and be driven. It's okay. And I think especially for us women, it's hard to find that balance. And so her book outlines how to create that balance. And it's different for everybody. Everybody doesn't have the same balance. But she shows you how to embrace some of the hiccups and the challenges and the awkwardness that you face. And a lot of her stories are amusing in there. It's very amusing because you you can relate and you – when she's in a meeting and how she feels and, you know, and she's this high powered executive. And then when she leaves the room, how she feels small at times. And if she allows you to have all these emotions, things that we all think about, but no one ever says, especially in the corporate world. Um, and so it was so impactful to me. And I, I love, 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 love lean in. Love it. And Absolutely. For and for a final question, what is your favorite quote and why? My favorite quote is, your attitude determines your altitude. I don't know the author, but it was something my brother has said to me since I was maybe 10 years old. And I, I hold it to this day. I, I say it in my businesses. I say it with my team in, in my job. It is so true. It rings so true. Your attitude always determines your altitude and I think approaching things with a great attitude brings back great energy and so I always try to approach things even if I may not feel the happiest about it I try to spin it to the, the positive I try to seep out the, the smallest even if it's a fraction or hair of a fraction positivity I'll do that because I know that with that little positivity I can grow whatever it is up and I will grow in, in it. So just having a great attitude and, and, and elevation. So, yeah, absolutely. Nadia, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show. What is the best way for people to find you online? Uh, Google. Um, I would say, especially for the books, you can go to Google Books. Um, go to Amazon. It's on there. Um, LinkedIn. I, I really communicate really good on uh, LinkedIn. I have a new website that's coming. Um, and it's the selective dental training.com. And that's for uh, one of my businesses. Um, I have some other projects coming up. Um, I'm writing a film right now. Uh, and so I'm excited. And you'll see all these things posted on LinkedIn. Uh, and then I have a children's book, a book coming out, uh, Snagatooth. So you'll be seeing that as well. So a lot of good stuff coming up. So. Well, Nadia, I want to thank you. I want to thank you once again for being on the show, and I wish you all the best in your author journey ahead. Thank you so much, and you have a great day. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how you can be featured in our brand new Get Published Business book, go to GetPublishedPodcast.com.
www.thepowerhouse.com. 